experience of it. I will put you into uh, groups of six or seven, and then uh, you will share the answers to these questions. So as I read the questions, you better start thinking about the answers. That is from your own perspective, okay? Think of a time, a big experience, when you were most alive, most excited, most committed as a catechist or a leader of catechists. I suppose before you became the superintendent or whatever you call it, the director, you know, you were also a catechist. So you can go back to that time or even today as the leader or director of the catechists. When did you have a big experience? A big experience is something that is positive, something that you remember, something that is memorable, something that made you, you know, want to be a catechist. Not something that, uh, you know, you won't forget it because it was so traumatic an experience. We are not talking about that. That is a traumatic experience. That is a big experience. Okay? So are we clear about that? You know? A big experience. Because, you know, a fulfilling moment in your life. You know, it could be when you were teaching or it could be with one of the kids, you know, in a counseling session or it could be an encounter with another catechist. Okay? As long as you consider that a big experience. What and when was that incident or event? Try to be as, uh, as, uh, what do you call this? as concrete as possible. Do not say, well, my big experience is every time I teach catechism to the school children. You know, that's not true. Because not every time you teach, you know, because there are times that you are frustrated, you know, and you go home and you tell yourself, how did I get into this mess, you know? Okay? <laughs> so, don't say that. It could be only one experience. And uh, perhaps it is the most recent or the most that made an impression on you. Okay? Now, why was it a big experience for you? So you have to explain why it was a big experience. Now, when you do the sharing, do not be so long because you want to give a chance for the five or six other people to have their own time to share. Okay? Number two, what do you value most about yourself? And the reason here is before you can even value other people, you have to value yourself, you know? Uh, this is, uh, you know, sometimes we have found that uh, one of the uh, uh, problems that we have is that uh, we have very low self-esteem. It's below sea level. <laughs> so, you know, if you cannot even value yourself, how do you, how can you value other people, okay? What do you value most about your work as a catechist or catechetical director? If you are here, I suppose you value your work. Don't tell me, oh, I was forced to come here. Okay? That answer. Is that an answer? Don't give me that answer. I was forced to come here. You know, there is something here that uh, you value most. And then the catechist in your diocese. What do you value most about them? Okay, now, number three, take a bird's eye view of the catechists in your diocese. What do you think is the core factor or factors that give life to the catechists in your diocese? What in particular gives your catechists their unique identity and strengths? What would you like to preserve and or enhance about the service of the catechists in your diocese? Now, for this question, you might want to consider here what you hear from other people. You know, how they appreciate your catechist. Perhaps when you go visiting the parish priests in your area, in your diocese, what they say about your catechist. Or uh, in some schools, the principals, okay, or uh, even the students themselves. 
you know what they value most? What some catechists. What your catechists. And then number four, now this is uh, a little bit, uh, you know, you really have to exercise your imagination here. Fall asleep today and wake up 10 years from today. Okay, physically, don't no, please do it. You know, otherwise, you may not wake up. So, it's like uh, being a Rip Van Winkle. You discover that the Episcopal Conference for Catechetics, how do you call that, Father Ernie? The <laughs> office? Yeah. Uh, Episcopal Commission for Catechesis and? Catholic. and Catholic Education. So, Eche. Sorry, I forgot about it. <laughs> I was part of it before. <laughs> okay, so uh, Episcopal co uh, Commission Palito for Catechesis and Catholic Education had just awarded your diocesan catechists as among the best in the country. So just imagine they awarded your catechists as among the best. How did they deserve such an award? Okay. What are they doing, or what have they done, or what have they become? That is according to your deepest aspirations and dreams. What three wishes do you have for your catechists that would make them even more alive, more committed, and more fulfilled in their mission? Actually, this question is about three wishes that you have for your catechists. No? Okay? Sometimes when people answer it, they, they uh, write a plaque of appreciation. So you can also do it that way. This uh, plaque is awarded to the diocese of so and so. You know, for, and then they state the reasons. Okay? You can do it that way, but I think the more important thing here is what three wishes would you have for your plaque? Because later on, when you do the, the process, these three wishes will come into the dream part, the second phase, as part of the dreaming. Okay? So, this is how we'll do it. Any questions, by the way, before we break into groups? No questions? Okay. So, let's uh, do it this way. Let us count one to 